Next matchup, Indians, White Sox, 8-10 Eastern first pitch at guaranteed rate field in Chicago. I'm going to be so disappointed when they uh, change the name of that stadium at some point. It's got it's going to happen within five years because these stadiums change names all the time. The corporate sponsorships run out or they pull out or they just go defunct. But uh, I think for the last three years straight, I've always said guaranteed rate field in Chicago. Uh, but anyway, Cleveland's minus 175 in this matchup. Totals at nine and a half. Now, we did see a good amount of movement in the uh, early action here. Uh, we did see a 10 cent move toward Cleveland. We also saw movement upward on the total, uh, a full run. So uh, once again, Cleveland opened 165 up to 175. Total open eight and a half all the way up to nine and a half. 65% are leading Cleveland, 51% shaded toward the under. Right now, the White Sox are plus 160 on the money line. Cleveland minus 105 on the run line. We have Trevor Bauer for the Indians, Dylan Covey for the White Sox. Now, Covey, not so good this year. 0 and 3 with a 5.13 ERA. Uh, the White Sox are just 364 in their games played at the current market price. Uh, the White Sox lost four out of their last five games when Covey made the start. Now Cleveland on the other side, completely different story. They're winning 75% of their games played at the current market price. They're also seventh in runs allowed on the road. And when it comes to the total, the White Sox are nine and four to the under in their last 13. Give me the Indians, minus 175, and the under, 9.5 in that game. Next matchup, Cubbies, Cards, 815 St. Louis. Uh, the Cards are minus 120, totals at 9. Now, we did see a 20-cent fade of the Cardinals on the money line. We also saw movement downward on the total. So, once again, St. Louis opened $1.40, down to minus 120. Total open 9.5, down to 9 flat. 64% are leaning Chicago, 58% shaded toward the under. Right now, the Cubs are plus 110 on the money line. Um, St. Louis plus 150 on the run line. We have Hugh Darvish for the Cubs, Miles Michaelis for the Cards. Um, Michaelis is 4-5 and five with a 4.76 ERA. Not so hot out of him in the early going here. Uh, St. Louis really struggling as of late as well. Uh, winners in just five out of their last 17. Ugh. Uh, they're 0-3 against the Cubbies this year. And the Cubbies are winning 70% of their games following a day off. They're also posting a record of uh, a win percentage of 6-11, taking on teams allowing more than 4.2 runs per contest. Now, total-wise, the Cubs are 71% to the over when the line was 9 or higher. Give me the Cubbies plus 1.5 in the over 9 runs in that game. Next matchup, I told you, we got a full slate. We still got plenty of games to go through. So uh, if you're listening to me in the car or on the job right now, we got plenty more games to get through. Uh, next matchup, Blue Jays, Rockies, 840 Eastern first pitch in Colorado. The Rockies are minus 260, totals 11 and a half. Now we did see a 15 cent fade of Colorado in the early wagering. We also saw movement downward on the total. Uh, Colorado opened 275, down to 260. Total open 12, down to 11 and a half. Now, 69% of the consensus is leaning toward Colorado. 56% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Blue Jays are plus 225 on the money line. Colorado, minus 135 on the run line. We have Herman Marcus for Colorado. That's Herman Marquez. I like calling him Herman Marcus. Just really... Uh, just really Americanizing that name, just uh, really just tearing it up. So Herman Marquez uh, becomes Herman Marcus uh, for Colorado. Uh, meanwhile, on the other side, Edwin Jackson uh, slated on the bump for Toronto. Uh, now, if you like Toronto in the spot here, you may not be in a bad position. Uh, Colorado's covered just 10 out of 27 games at Coors Field. They're also winning just 41% of their games, taking on teams under 460. So really, if you're the Rockies or a Rockies fan, you haven't capitalized on taking uh, advantage of these lower tier teams. Uh, once again, they're winning just 41% of their games taking on teams under 460. Now Toronto's seventh in runs allowed on the road. They're also fourth in hits allowed in that same category. When it comes to the total, Toronto's 14 and 10 to the under when the line was nine or higher. I know they're a road dog, but I got to lean toward, uh, towards them. Give me Toronto plus one and a half 
in the under 11 and a half in that game. Next matchup, Mets Diamondbacks 940 Arizona. No line currently posted for this game. Uh, we have Zach Wheeler for the Mets, John Duplantier for Arizona. Uh, the Mets are just uh, winners in 12 out of their last 32 away from home. They've dropped eight out of their last nine on the road. They're just a terrible road team. Give me Arizona winning that one outright. Next game, Astros Athletics 1007 Oakland. Uh, good old fashioned flip of the lines in this one. Uh, Houston's minus 115, totals at eight, but Houston was not the favorite when this one opened up. As a matter of fact, they opened up as the $1 dog plus 100 on the money line. Now minus 115, total open eight and a half, down to eight flat. 54% are leaning Houston, 80% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Athletics are plus 105 on the money line. Houston plus 140, laying the run and a half. Now we have Brad Peacock for the Astros. Mike, only you can prevent Forrest Fires for Oakland. That's Mike Fires for Oakland. Uh, Fires comes into today's contest with a 5.05 ERA. What everybody's going to remember is the no-hitter. But uh, despite that no-hitter, Fires coming in with a rotund 5.05 ERA. Meanwhile, on the other side, Peacock's been solid. 5-2 and two, uh, record with a 3.19 ERA. Uh, Oakland's 21st in runs scored at home. Uh, really just not getting the job done at the plate uh, in their home stadium. They're also 22nd in striking batters out at home as well. So having a tough time uh, putting up those Ks on the uh, on the scoreboard. Uh, Oakland, they've dropped four out of their last five taking on Houston. They're winning just 46% of their games at the current market price. And they've won just eight out of 22 games as the official Vegas underdog. Now, Houston on the other side, they're 778 when Peacock makes the start. They're also a perfect, unblemished 7 0 following a day off. Give me Houston minus 115 in the under eight runs in that game. Next matchup, three more games to go. We have the Angels taking on the Mariners, 10 10 Eastern first pitch in Seattle. No line currently posted for this game. Although we do have some probables, we have Skaggs for the Angels, Mike Leak for the Mariners. Give me the Angels winning that one outright. Next game, Miami taking on the Padres, 10-10 Eastern first pitch in San Diego. The Padres are minus 170, totals at 7. Now we did see a nickel move toward the Padres in the early wagering. We also saw movement downward on the total. San Diego opened 165, up to 170. Total open 7.5, down to 7 flat. 63% are leaning San Diego, 53% shaded toward the over. Right now, Miami's plus 155 on the money line. The Padres plus 135 on the run line. We have Smith for the Marlins, Luke Casey for the Padres. Miami's just horrible. Uh, winners in just five out of 16 on the road this year. San Diego, they're six and three in their last nine. Give me the Padres in the expensive price, minus 170. In the under, seven runs in that game. Next and final matchup, it is going to be Phillies, Dodgers. Can't wait for this series. 10-10 Eastern first pitch in Los Angeles. The Dodgers are minus 170, totals eight and a half. Now we did see a nickel move toward Los Angeles and movement upward on the total in this one. LA open 165, up to 170. Total open eight and a half, up to, I'm sorry, total open eight, up to eight and a half. We have Arietta for the Phils, Kenta Maeda for the Dodgers. Now, Jake Arietta comes into today's game with a 5 and 4 record, 3.60 ERA. So kind of taking his old form, um a lot of bad things happen when Arietta starts. You know, guys start booting the ball, they make dumb fielding mistakes. Um I'll tell you what, the Phils have not made it easy on Arietta uh, being in town over the past couple of years, but he's powering through. Once again, he's 5 and 4. With a 3.60 ERA, the Phils are five and two in their last seven. Uh, they're also good against the number when traveling. They're 15 and 10 against the spread away from home. They are fourth in walks, fifth in runs allowed on the road as well. Meanwhile, the Dodgers on the other side, they're 19th in striking batters out at home, really having a tough time um, striking batters out uh, on the defensive side of things. Now, total wise. The Dodgers are 9-1 of the over in their last 10. So I'm going to lean Philadelphia plus 1.5 in, uh, 
and the over eight and a half in that game. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me. Uh, Got to remind you guys to check me out on my website, patreon.com slash Brock Page. We do more content on that site, more daily plays. Uh, memberships begin at just $1.99 per month. So if you like the uh, free YouTube content here and you say, hey, man, I just want to throw this guy a couple of bones just for his effort, that's the place you can do it, patreon.com slash Brock Page. Link is in the description section below. And last but certainly not least, we got to get to some uh, shout outs here. We have plenty of them. So let's go ahead and get into them. Uh, first off, we're going to lead off with Mr. Ref6, who said, I got a solution for your TV. Because yesterday in the middle of the podcast, my TV shut off randomly. He goes, I got a solution for your TV randomly shutting off. Buy a new one. <laughs> Pretty good. That's clever. The only problem is we just got this thing two years ago. It's still new. I, I don't get new TVs. Uh, every two years, but maybe that's where it's going. You got to get a new TV every two years, but just got this thing brand new, still smells like the plastic out of the packaging. I'm not going to buy a new TV. Plus we have five other TVs in the uh, house right now. So not buying a new TV, but that was clever. Mr. Ref six. I like that. Uh, shout out to Chuck Pinter, uh, Sports Gambling Daily, uh, Ulysses, U-Dog, Hayes, uh, Jake, Ricky, Bobby, Juju, Haha. Uh, shout out to Jerome Jerry Watkins, who actually, uh, he was saying he had a ton of tornado warnings where he lives at. Tornado warnings all over the continental United States, the contiguous United States. Uh, tornadoes going off everywhere. It's crazy. It's like a Twister, the movie. But anyway, uh, Jerome, hopefully you're safe, Jerry Watkins, and, uh, you know, uh, keep us updated, man. Uh, hopefully uh, the house doesn't blow away. Uh, next shout out, uh, Ibrahim Al Darby. Great to see you in the comment section. We also have Amin Juwali, who uh, told me yesterday he uh, laid down the law. He was pretty firm with me. He said, you're not doing too good so far today, my brother. And uh, you're right. I wasn't too, doing too good to start, but we finished off. At uh, nine and eight in our MLB leans yesterday, so not too bad. Nine and eight in our MLB leans. Uh, shout out to Stephen Lewis, James Spina, uh, who said, "Did Brock say anal bead?" I, I definitely did, James. I said anal bead in a podcast. I don't know why I said it. Um, it was inappropriate, but it was really funny in my head when I thought it, so I spoke it, and um, I was very happy with myself after I said it. So. Anyway, uh, next shout out, Danny J, Vinny Smooth, King Me 2020, uh, who, he was very rough with me. He came at my neck. He said, you're rowing three that fast, $150 wasted. Well, King Me, we don't like to see that. I'm um, very sorry that you lost 150 but I'll tell you this much. The ATM does not close. Get it back. Just win more. Just get it back, dude. Power through it. It's 150 bucks. That's like... A pass line bet. 150 bucks. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the 150. Go ahead, grind it out, and make some more. That's what's that's what gambling's all about, man. I'll I'll, I'll support you, uh, King Me 2020. We gotta power through this. $150 to high rollers like me and you, that ain't shit. So uh, 150 bucks, don't worry about it. Get some more, we'll get it back. Uh shout out, blown stallone, my guy. Uh shout out, Lance LaRose, Vic Ver, uh Vic Ferg. Vic Ferg, my good friend Vic Ferg. Uh, shout out to Matt. It's going to be May representing the Beard Gang. Uh, also a shout out to Ryan Scahill, who says your house is haunted. Uh, I don't think my house is haunted. But if it is, it could be the friendly ghost turning off the TV. What do you guys think? Is my house haunted? Let me know in the comment section below. I don't think it is because I grew up uh, in a very old house Uh for 18 years of my life, and uh, it was a very old house. If any house was going to be haunted, it was the one I grew up in, and you know, no ghosts uh, mess with little Brock Page, I'll tell you that right now. Never saw no shenanigans like that, so I don't know if I'd buy that stuff, but uh, I don't know, Ryan, maybe it is haunted. Maybe the, the ghosts are finally catching up and making up for lost time. Uh, anyway, shout out, CQP Underboss. Gotta love that name, the CQP Underboss who uh, said the A's played like trash Wednesday. 
the A's stopped the bag. Well, we don't want to stop the bag. We want to secure the bag. So uh, hopefully these leans today uh, will allow us to secure many bags, a huge bag, the biggest bag there is. We want to secure that and put our arms around it and guard it with our lives. Uh, next shout out, Nick Manley, uh, some kind of guy, 10,000. And last but not least, Mike Wilkerson. Mike Wilkerson, I, I don't think I've seen you post uh, any comments. So Mike you're the last but not least guy today, Mike Wilkerson. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me. Once again, happy Friday. The weekend's here. Yeah. The weekend's here. Love it, man. I love it. Fridays are beautiful. Uh, and I have a dentist appointment today, so I'm getting out of work early. I'm do one of these as I'm walking out and uh, give them a chop, too, as I'm walking out of work to get my chompers whitened. But anyway... Uh, Wedding's coming up June 8th, guys. I'm getting married. We're uh, eight days away. So a lot of things going on. But I can't miss a podcast. I might do a podcast in my tux. That that might happen. I think that will happen. But anyway, uh, that is going to do it for me. Once again, happy Friday to you. Best of luck to you guys. Don't forget to check me out on patreon.com slash Brock Page. Link for that site is in the uh, description section below. A lot. More content on that site from me. Um, but most importantly, thank you for watching the free content right here on YouTube. YouTube's where it all started. YouTube is where my heart is. This is, uh, this is what I do, man. I'm a YouTube guy. I'm a YouTuber. A podcaster. Vlogger. No, I'm not a vlogger yet. But maybe I'll become one. Who knows? But anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. Best of luck to you. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon.com. Best of luck to you. And here comes the finger.